So here is the latest version of Pioneer, which is version 1.1.9. We've made some um, made some fine tuning and some adjustments here, and I wanted to go over some of these changes with you. The first thing you'll notice on the home screen, we have a beautiful full covering image here with a custom login. Um, there's also two little quick links right here to create new accounts or forgot your password. Um, going down the page, you'll notice there's a custom text box. You can use HTML, uh, insert photos, videos, that kind of stuff right here in the text box. Over to the right, we have um, the sidebar for adding Moodle blocks. And just below that on the home page, you have um, uh, featured courses. So um, this is all customized in the back end. You can select uh, however many courses you want to feature and they will appear here. Um, you also have social icons at the bottom. So let's log in and see what's happening. This is the logged in uh, default dashboard page. You'll notice across the top we have tool tips and these icons that you can customize in the back end. You can add up to eight different icons with a link and a tool tip as you see here. We also have the My Courses drop down. So you can go in and uh, pick your courses that you're enrolled in. Makes it real easy to get into your classes. Below that we have a full screen header image. This header image changes on each course that you go to. For instance, here's the biology. Here's another course. Here's another course. You get the idea. Scrolling down the dashboard page, you'll notice that um, the blocks on the side now um, this is a big change from version 1.8 to 1.9. We added back in um, these uh, icons, which are borrowed from the Aardvark theme. Um, we also utilize these, the styling in the uh, Evolve D theme. Uh, so we brought this in, but you'll notice that we put a border on the left side of the block. This helps to create a visual separation between the blocks and the learning content. Now the one thing that we don't have activated and that is the um, marketing spots that appear at the bottom. You can look at those in the screenshot. So let's dive into one of these courses. We'll go to the features demo. So as you can see it has its own custom uh, header image and I wanted to point this out. This is the grade book slider. So when you click this, it instantly shows all the grades to the student. Makes it real nice and convenient when you're in the course to quickly see where you stand on the latest assignments. Another thing that we did was for each topic, whether it's a weekly topic or just the regular old topic format, we created a great deal of separation between them. Uh, one of the things that feedback that we got was sometimes it seems like the page runs on forever. Well, we created some separation and we think that these visual cues make a difference to the learner. We also added in these little icons right here that you see next to the titles and as well as underlining the titles. This icon is customizable in the back end and we'll dive into the um, theme settings in a bit, but we just wanted to show you um, that's another visual cue that we threw into the theme. You'll notice on the right hand side the blocks all have custom icons and colors. It really helps create nice visual cues for the learner. Okay, let's take a look at the theme settings. So this is controlled by your site admin and under Appearance, Themes, Pioneer, here are the general settings. The first thing, header image, 
you're able to control how big the image appears on the dashboard as well as the main course page. Once you click on an activity, that is this second drop down. So you can either have the image remain the same size or you can have it shown um, uh, smaller. For instance, that's what you see here. It's the same background image, but it's smaller. And this toggle right here allow teachers to upload their header image. The default is no. It will use whatever image you put in right here for all the course pages. But if the teacher uploads a file into their course summary files in the course, it will utilize that image across the banner, the header. You could also upload a background image, although this is a full width uh, theme and um, the the background only shows at the very bottom. You can upload your own logo to replace the Pioneer logo. That goes right here. It should be 140 picks by 40. Here is that section title icon. You'll notice that it has a slash F02D. Okay, that corresponds with the book. So let's take a look at how you would find and, and put in your own custom theme, uh, icon. Let's say next to each one, you wanted to have um, the automobile. You would come here, click on automobile, and copy this Unicode. So I'm going to copy this right here and we'll hop back over to the theme and I'm going to paste it right there with the slash at the front. Now let's see what that does. So I'm saving the settings and let's go take a look at a class. Now you can see there's an automobile at the beginning of each one of these sections. Pick your favorite icon, drop it in the theme, and it will enhance your site. We also have an area to customize the CSS. If you don't like a particular color, you can uh, jump in and add your own colors and code right here. Here is a general alert that appears at the top of the uh, front page. You can type in your message as HTML, so you can do different font sizes, upload an image, uh, upload a document, all those kinds of things. Here is the custom text box. Some of this is self-explanatory. However, this toggle right here this always show, show before login, show after login, or never show. This only applies to the front page. Once you go into a course or leave the front page, um, you will no longer see this front page text box. Here is the drop down. You can pick from a variety of different ways, the different terms. Um, my classes or my courses seems to be the most popular. And if you so desire, you can turn on or off the course grader slider. So if you don't want the students to be able to quickly access their grades, you can um, leave this unchecked. Otherwise, you have to check it in order to activate it. And here is the featured courses. By simply adding in their um, the uh, course IDs, those courses will be displayed. Let's take a look at color options. Variety of different colors that you can set. Google Fonts. You can actually customize all the fonts and pick from any one of these Google fonts. So for instance, if you like, um, let's do handwriting, I guess. 
let's just take a look at handwriting. So that usually gives us the biggest difference. If you wanted to make the headers handwritten in appearance, you would copy the URL, come back here, go to the next step, the font family, copy this, come back here, paste that, and save changes. You'll now notice that all the headers have the handwritten font style. So that's Google Fonts. Here is the icon navigation. Um, here is uh, what you fill out. There are up to eight different icons. We give you, by default, there's four as examples. Feel free to customize those. With marketing spots, you have a toggle for when they will appear for the end users. And just like Evolve D and several other themes, you, you fill out the information. Um, the one thing I will note is you can upload an image and it is displayed right below the header of the marketing spot at the bottom of the page. If you want, you can show the social networking icons. Those appear at the bottom of the page down here, you can see. And last but not least, we also um, are responsible for the social wall course format. What that does is it's just like weekly or uh, topic-based course format. So when you're creating a new course, you can pick social wall course format. It makes your, your course look and function similar to Facebook. So for instance, you can type in a message and when you click post, it appears down here in the timeline. Now students can leave comments and they can uh, reply to each other on here. If you if you add uh, like an assignment or a glossary or a quiz, it will show up in the block, uh, the uh, message, and uh, the students will also see their grade here as well. And that is Social Wall. Now that is a separate install, but the, Evo uh, the Pioneer and Evolve D theme both have custom styling that really kind of make this course format blend in with the themes. It looks great and um, uh, we're really excited about this course format. And that is the basic pages, the, the customizations that you can do with Pioneer and uh, I hope you enjoy the theme. We're continually improving it and please don't hesitate to send me a message or an email and let me know if uh, your comments and thoughts.